triumph I'm making a note here huge success Hello internet, welcome to the very first episode of But Why? Today we're going to talk about acidification reduced growth rate but not swimming speed of larval sea urchins. Now this was a paper done by Chan, Garcia, and DuPont in 2015. It was published in May in Scientific Reports. Now Scientific Reports is the open access journal that's part of the larger Nature Publishing Group. The big question I got out of this paper was, do acidic conditions affect the growth rate and swimming of larval sea urchins? Now this would make sense. Ocean acidification is a huge concern right now, especially for something with an exoskeleton like a green sea urchin does. Now the hypothesis here seems to be that acidic conditions will adversely affect the sea urchin growth and in turn hinder their swimming capabilities. Now the researchers seem to in particular be looking at the green sea urchin. Now this is a northern species. It's generally found within the Arctic Circle in the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans but can also be found as far south as London and Puget Sound, depending on what ocean you're looking at. These are primarily benthic animals. Uh, they have external fertilization. Because in adulthood these are benthic animals and they fertilize externally, the swimming behavior of the larva also affects the way that this animal is going to be distributed throughout its range. So here we're given that Given ocean acidification, how is it going to affect this further pathway? Will it affect the larval development, which in turn will affect that larval swimming behavior, which in turn will affect the distribution of that species? The larvae were exposed to present and potentially future pH variability. Now pH is basically how acidic or basic something is. Now the present pH is actually around 8.1 right now. They actually exposed it to something a little more acidic. Uh, so the pHs they used were 8.0, 7.6, and 7.2. Now for reference, water is actually pretty neutral. That's a pH of 7, just pure water, pure H2O. So the ocean is actually slightly basic right now. Now when exposed to lower pHs, closer to 7, uh, the growth rate of these larvae was actually slightly reduced. They were smaller, shorter, and they also had shorter arms. The interesting thing is that it had no significant impact on the larval mortality, and it actually had no significant impact on larval swimming. Now what does this research mean? First off, it means that we're going from a slightly basic ocean to a slightly more neutral one. But the fact of the matter is, though, that, though the future ocean pH is closer to 7, it is more neutral, it's still more acidic than it was before, and that does affect things that are affected by acidic conditions like these green sea urchin larvae. The interesting thing is that a more acidic pH may not always affect animals the way we expect them to. We know that more acidic conditions are less favorable for things like mollusks because they need to expend more effort and energy rebuilding shells that are damaged by more acidic conditions. The interesting thing here is that while green sea urchins were clearly prominently affected by the lower pH closer to 7, they were still able to adapt their swimming behaviors and there was no significant change. Now once again, I'm Joe Cuevas. Uh, hope you enjoyed the first episode of But Why? And join me next time, we'll all be talking about some other open source science project. Till then, see ya.